Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing for the Gene Steeler Cult's Acolyte Hybrids. Yep, so this is a dual kit. Uh, it's a hybrid and it's also the uh, Metamorphs. Ah. So this is both <laughs> kits in one. Uh, we're going to make the hybrids from this. But we'll do have another kit and I'll probably just turn them into Metamorphs. So we'll have a look at the add-ons to Metamorphs in this one. And I'll probably build the other one as Metamorphs and show you what they look like built. <laughs> So, let's get this open. Okay. Um, it's all got cellophane on it. So we've done two videos so far. We've done the Codex video. If you want to have a look at the Codex, if you haven't seen it already, it is splashed across the internet. It has been for a couple of weeks for some reason. But there's been a lot of coverage on this one. And we've done the Neophytes unboxing video. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see them, that should be up already. Um, and this is the last box set. We don't want to be shown. Today. They, they, they really no wish to come out. There we go. There we go. It's a little genie seal tablet with stuff. Oh. He knows you're a tuna. Ah, for some reason, not Battle Brothers. Oh well. <laughs> for some See reason. You then. <laughs> so we have two sprues again. They don't seem quite as packed, but nearly as packed as the previous ones. Yeah, there, there was still, hardly any holes to... In fact, they are pretty much as packed, shall yeah. we say. There's, there's not much room on there. Um, we have the buzz saw, uh, rock saw, going on there. Uh, we have flamers, hand flamers all round, because you can all take hand flamers if you want to upgrade them. I think it's five points of pop. Mm -hmm. We have uh, really cool sort of modified faces. There's one of my favourites, the feeder face, it looks like a small lecture. <laughs> one with a flash hook on as well. So they're pretty much a lot alike. Then there's the rock rail front, which is spotting parts. The other sprue, which is a different sprue, we've got the banner there, let's turn that around. We've got uh, the cutters, I think that's the other part of the drill. We've got whips. Is that two whips? That's why there's two whips. Um, cool, we yeah. have uh, claws and a lot of other different upgrades on there. So let's uh, get started. At the, uh, the book, you can build them as hybrids on Metamorphs. These are going to be hybrids, so one, two, ten, starting at one. So it's obviously advised us to get the legs 14, 16, 17, and 18. Uh, bodies one, two, and seven and eight make them, and then we've got optional three, four, five, with six, ten, sorry, nine, ten, eleven, which will make this, which is the acolyte with a heavy rock drill. I do want a rock drill, so we're making that, uh, and that's an optional acolyte with a heavy rock drill there. So interesting. Over the page with the lock, and the acolyte leader, which is the. So we'll cut all these parts off and then we'll get cracking. Okay, so there we go. Those are all the parts cut off. So we're going to be, the legs are separate. So we're going to move them out of the way. Um, then we have the bodies, which are again in two parts. They're just slot together as per pretty much every other kit, which has bodies in two parts like that. These do the same. And then we have this one down here, which is a backpack. Which goes on which is part 75, which goes on part 12, which is there. There's a little slot which it goes on, and that replaces one of these three. So we'll get rid of uh, 11 and we'll put that one on. So I'll put these bodies all together and then we'll move on. Okay, so we're going to start with the Acolyte Hybrid Leader. Um, so for this, we need parts 15, which are blue tacked to the base. It's just like the robes. We need parts 6 and 13. So one of those uh, bodies that I've stuck together already, I probably won't need. Because uh, there's only five models and there's five bodies, so if you don't want to make the leader, you can make one of the normal ones. But we do want to make the leader for this, so we need 13 and 6, which will go together. And then we have the uh, 61, which is sort of the lash whip going on there, and claws. And then we have 60, which is the bone sword and claws. And we have part 33, which is the head. So we'll stick those together, and we're we'll back when he's done. Okay, so there is the leader complete. He looks cool. He does, he looks awesome. That's why he's pointing at someone. <laughs> you! <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> he's cool, I like him. So now we'll move on to the uh, cult icon. 
So that's one of the legs, so it can be any of them. Uh, and one of the bodies, it can be any of them from the first page. Couple that with either 45 or 46. I think one with a weapon. Um, or 46. And the other arm is 79 along with any of the heads. All the way from 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, all the way through to 26. Um, and that should make this guy at the bottom. So we'll be back when he's done. So there is the cultist with the banner. Now one thing I noticed when I was putting this together, because I nearly picked up the wrong part, the body parts, some of them got two arms on that side and one arm on that side, which you'll need for this guy obviously. But some of the body types have two arms on the other side, like one for the rock cutter, it's got two spaces there and one there, it's the opposite way around. So you have to make sure that when you're putting these together you've got the right body for the right uh, arms and stuff. So we'll move on now. Uh, we've got the rock cutter and the demolition charge, which we're not making in this kit. So we can move on past this page. And then we have the acolyte with a heavy rock saw. But we are making him. So we will need a body where there is room for one arm on that side and two on the other. So the one I was going to use is the right way around, so that's that one there. So two arms, uh, one there. The rock saw itself is part 78 and 77. The arm is 76, and then it's any one of these heads. 35, 36, 37, 38 and 39. Which makes this guy. So we're back for a minute. Okay, so here he is. Yeah, quite with the saw. That saw is amazing. It's awesome. There's going to be a hundred jelly orcs and flash tailors, terrors out there now after seeing this thing. <laughs> it's huge. And this guy looks like he's struggling to actually hold it because he's really bent over. <laughs> the blue tack's not holding him very well. So he might fall for your base. But I'm repainting them separate anyway, just like the previous ones. That's why the blue tack to the bases. Um, so next up we have the Acolyte with a Heavy Rock Drill, which is another pair of legs, any pair of legs. And then this backpack that we saw at the beginning, attached to the body. We're also going to need part 73, 72 and 71 to make this. And then one of these heads that are remaining. So we'll stick him together and see what he's like. Okay, just first show you the one with the rock drill. I've actually changed the body of the one with this saw because I didn't like it. He kept falling over, it was so top heavy. So I've switched him round. So his body's been rejected twice now. Uh, so <laughs> He's going to get issues that get one, issues. isn't he? But uh, I think he looks much better, sort of much more stood up, like he's actually cutting something because he was leaning right over. And that was even when he was, it wasn't like he was far off his base, that's the position he would have been in. So I think that looks a lot better. Hope you agree. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's the saw. The drill looks awesome as well. We've gone with a visor for that one, mm. full visor and sort of head plate, head shield. There we go. It's a bit fiddly how that one goes together because the two arms are separate as you, as you saw before on this side, but it's not too bad. But it was a little bit fiddlier than anything else I've had to do with the genius of the sofa. So that just leaves one guy, this, this poor guy that keeps getting rejected. So, let's have a look what we can actually give him to make him feel a bit better. Because all the special stuff's gone as well. Uh -oh. So, what can we have? Okay. So we've got... Um, 46, 45, 41 and 40. Is that right? I think 45 might have gone, I think. We need one where there's two arms on that side and one arm on that oh, side. Oh no, I've got 45. So, these are obviously other options. Uh, we have more of the sword arms and then more of the guns. So I'm just having a look in the use of the codex as well. And I said before that the uh, these guys can flame us. As upgrades. Yeah. It's in here as well. Any model yeah. may upgrade I'll just or may checking. replace. It's not a pistol with a with hand, a hand flame. flame. Yeah. It says it in the main points. book as well. Just there. Five points. And it says it in the instructions. Yeah. So I'm going to give him a hand flame. Even though know that it's not showing on there. So we'll have to flip through the instructions. Um, to the metamorphs. At the to back. the metamorphs. So hand flamers. Um, we're going to want 50. We want uh, one that's got a single arm on that side, and that's where the flamers are on the single arm. So we want 54, 53, or 52. One of those will do. 
And as you can see here, these are some of the Metamorph arms that we can have. The Metamorph side of this book, we have a Metamorph leader who has these parts, 62 and 63, 34 for the head. Um, we've got optional whips here and scythes kind of things going on. The standard barrel looks very similar, just the different options for heads, etc. And then we have the last page, which is just them all with optional flamers or not. So we'll not go through them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to build them separate and show you them at the end of these guys. But for now, we'll finish building off this dude. So we're going to want that flamer. There's a flamer. The optional flamer. There it is. That's what it looks like. And we're going to want two arms for this side. So one of these, either 49, 48 or 47 would be appropriate. And then we're going to pick him a cool head. Because he deserves it. Because, you know, he's worth it. Um, <laughs> You're going to call him L'Oreal? Yeah, why not? Why not? So 19, all these heads, very similar. Did you not say there was one that looked like Geordie of the Forge? Yeah, but we can't have it on this one. Why? Why can't we have it on this one? Because it's not on the on the thing. Is it meant for one of the other heavy yeah, weapons? Yeah, it's, it's meant for the heavy weapon one. Well, I think we should have it. Okay. I'm going to break with convention. Okay. Because I really feel sorry for this guy. He's been rejected twice. We're spending the whole five points on him to give him a flamer. Just because I feel sorry for him. So that is the head you were talking about, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Has he got his tongue sticking out as well? Yeah. It is a bit like the visor, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's been a Star Trek fan who's done that. Yeah. It's Gene Steele, George of the Forge. So I'm going to stick that on then with that. And there he is. Finally finished. Oh. So with upgraded flamer, Jordan the Forge helmet, now we can feel a bit less sorry for him. Um, and there he goes. So I'll show you this squad quickly before we, I'm show you the uh, Metamorph squad. So there is the squad of Acolyte Hybrids. You can see that. Two heavy weapons, of course, combat purposes. Um, it's really a just close combat unit. There's a flamer in there, but that's still an assault weapon. This is all about the close combat. As I think most acolytes are, because mm. the best they've got is pistols, which are the ones from Overkill. And there's 12 of them, so technically I could have two squads of six, and then <laughs> these guys. So I've basically got three squads of these now. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I'll show you the metamorphs, I uh, will just complete them and show you them. Okay, so these are the metamorphs. We've got two, two more sets of sprues, which we're starting to cut off. Um, we will show you them as we're going together because I'm going to modify some of these. So the Metamorph Leader is perhaps 6, 13 and 15 and 34, 63 and 62. However the Leader, as it says in the book, uh, you, you can take a Leader for 10 points and you can upgrade them with a Bone Sword for 20. And you can actually give them, they actually come with um, Metamorph Talons. That's the problem. And you can give them the whip. So you can actually give this guy the bone sword and the whip. Which is quite like the combination for the leader. So I'm going to do that. And so he's going to look a lot like the existing one. Apart from his head can be different I think. There's a lot of cool heads on this sprue. So we'll find a good head for that. So we'll stick the leader together. So it's the same body, same legs. But after that we can put it together how we want. Is that part um, 34? 34. 34. And then we'll move on to doing the standard bear. So here are some of the options for weapons. So we decided to take them all off, see what we could do. We have two lash whips. So that's the lash whip we gave to the previous acolyte. We have this lash whip here with arm. And we have number 63 there, which is basically just a claw. And it's got this really cool sort of skull and uh, spine motif going on. I like that. Um, for the other round we have a bone saw, so that's a 20 point increase. That's the talon it shows there, which is 2 points. And we have a claw as well, which we give him for 2 points. That's plus 2 strength, that's plus 1 weapon skill. If you have 2 of them, that's plus 2 weapon skill. That's obviously AP3 and does life drain. It's only a 1 in 6 chance, but it's good. The lash whips are giving you plus 3 initiative. Uh, you can't, unfortunately, take a lash whip and the 
claw because you can only upgrade one of those um, which is a shame because I'd like to take a claw lack rip combo so I'd have to either choose to take the claw with plus two strength or lash rip with plus three initiative and then double that up with a bone so maybe which I think I'm going to do actually I'm going to take the lash whip and the bone so uh, because you can't take the talon in the last rip either. It's basically one of those. Mm -hmm. That's optional. You could also give him a hand flamer as well. So but I'd have to back. I'd have to actually cut off one of the hands yeah, and convert it. Which is easy enough to do, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna give him this combo, I think. So we're back when we're stuck together. Okay, so there it is the leader. So how we've made him. Just use a slightly different lash whip from the other one. Slightly different pose, um, and also a different head. Mm -hmm. So we'll make the standard bearer as well. Uh, the choices here are Lash Whip or Talon. Uh, we're not going to use that one, that's some we've used on the leader, we're going to use the other one. Uh, body and legs. And then it's 79 again for the banner. And then one of these cool looking heads. Which we've used 31. We're going to use 31? Yeah. 31 and 29 are my favourites. I think we use 29 on one of the other ones. Yeah, we will do. So we we'll use 31. We're going with a little head. There he is. He's got the, the uh, sort of standard alien xenomorph <laughs> tongue. tongue. That'd be pretty cool. So we'll give him a lash rip, I think, and we'll give him that. And we're back when he's done. Okay, so there is the icon. Deal with that tongue when it went. <laughs> yeah. That's just so alien. Excellent. So that's that one. So the last three guys. Um, we've got the bodies again. I'll just blue tack these onto the bases for now. Um, and we've got. That one's falling off. Is it? Yeah. Falling off his base. It's falling off his body. Oh, right, it's just not stuck on it. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, well, I've just done it. So, there we go. Right, um, so we've got claws, talons as options, and hand flamers then this side, as you can see there. And again, the optional side is to have the talons and whiplash. And of course, there's no claws for this side, which is a no. shame. And I wish you could have a lash whip and a claw. That'd be a great combo. Yeah. Uh, but we've got um, flamers for the other side as well. So I'm just going to put two claws on because we've got two sprues. As you saw before, we did the acolyte. So that means we've got two of these claws. You only get one in the box, unfortunately. But I'm going to have two of these guys with claws. And they're going to have flamers on the other side as well. And then the other guy, I think, um, we'll go for talons, if that's possible. Is there a single talon, or is it the old double talons? They're all double talons. I'll say, no, that's two talons, isn't it? Yeah. There's two talons on that one. You should have. So five is two talons. And the hand flamer for the other side, I think. Okay. So we'll put them together, we'll pick some cool heads, and we'll be back when they're done. So there we go. Those are the metamorphs and those are the acolytes on the other side. Um, the last of the metamorphs. There we go. There's one of them with a tentacle face. Tentacle face. Is that going to be his name from now on? This one's the brain. The brain. We've got part of the brain showing. There's a guy called Pinky. He could be Pinky or he could be Spiked on. Yes, cool. So the metamorphs are cool. I do like them. If you want to make a brood coven, you'll need one squad of them. One squad of them. Uh, I probably prefer them as the acolyte hybrids because I like the the cutters and the drills and all those weapons, those mm -hmm. mining weapons. And these guys only really turn up once the high fleets in the system, or very very near. Because I suppose then the high mine starts transmitting other data to the gene stealers, and then they start mutating more into tyranids. Yeah. Uh, whereas the acolytes come a lot sooner, actually. They're, I think, the second generation, are they? Are they? Uh, they're one of the earlier generations, anyway. Right. So um, that's why they look even less human. Uh, but these guys turn up near the end. Whether they, I, don't know whether, I don't need to read it again, but I don't know whether the acolytes mutate into these guys or whether these guys just start being created like this. Anyway, there we go. Um, cool models. All very them, cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um, I said you'll need them for the various formations mm -hmm. in the book if you are going to follow the formations. 
and uh, there we go. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, which I forgot to show you, uh, we've got some Gene Steeler dice. Yay! There we go. Gene Steeler dice. With a cool Gene Steeler symbol on the top. Mm -hmm. I'll open these, I'll probably look at one of the dice actually. Um, Flicker off. Just take it a bit further down. Well, I don't know it's from Gene Steeler Cult. There we go. And we can get it there. Have a look at one of these dice. They are really cool. You can see through them. Awesome. There's a, there's a steel thing. symbol. We did get some two ones. Steel symbol is a one. Not sure why why it's a one. I, I prefer them to be sixes to be honest. That's my only little complaint. Yeah. I like whatever symbol I had to be the it's six be the as opposed to yeah. the one. Yeah. Oh, Gene Steelers. Oh no. <laughs> Well, she's taking the leadership test. Yeah. Um, they're cool. I really like the way it's got this edging around it. And then you can see through the middle. It's like very that. reminiscent of the... Um... Although, you want to roll them on a light surface. Not like a dark, like it's on there. Because you can't actually see what they can. No. You want to roll them on something white, basically. What's, <laughs> the, what's that colour that uh, the Gene Steelers are painted? Is it the um, cult of the... Four armed emperor or something. Yeah, it's done the very same, isn't it? Because it's like purple inside and then like a, a blue outside. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, that purple and blue is kind of a Gene Steeler standard colour. That's yeah. the one that that colour uses. Yeah, and I'll probably be painting ours as that, so mm. it matches the overkill box. There we go. So I do like these dice. They're actually. very funky. We'll they've done really well, actually. Yeah, I, I think they've been so late in most places. So there we go. The other thing I didn't show you when I did the uh, the old codex video was uh, the data cards, which I meant to show you. Uh, let's be careful. These these aren't actually mine. So. Okay. So what we'll do? We'll uh, we'll just move these models out of the way. I'll have a good look at them. I think. Here we go. For these, it's for change. <laughs> not really struggle with that for about half an hour. There we go. Uh, so we've got the. Let's turn it upside down. The objective cards there. We have the discipline cards, so the brood mind discipline there. We have mind control. We have mental onslaught. The brood mind discipline. There we go, brood mind discipline again for a sign up blast. Um, psychic stimulus. And the primary power. Mass Hypnosis, which is one of the best primaries powers I've seen, actually. And then we have the Secure Objective cards, which are pretty much standard sort of stuff there, though. But they are handy to have these, I do like the little cards. It is handy to have them next to the, the board, where I'm keeping to refer to the book. Mm. And I, I really like these cards. I hope in, in whatever next edition we get, because I feel one's coming soon. That's cool. It's like a genius of a playing card, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping whatever next edition we get, we still can use the psychic cards, even if we're not using the other cards. Because mm -hmm. I did hear on the old rumour mill that these were going to be the last data cards that were done. All right. So I can only think of the reason for that being we're getting a new edition soon. They're not planning on releasing any more armies before the new edition. Oh. That might be completely wrong. I mean, these are only rumours. Don't quote me on any of this. I've just been reading the internet too much. Uh, so I never recommend reading the internet. <laughs> there we go, that's the data cards. So I was just a quick extra on the end of this video. I hope you like the dice in the data cards. I especially hope you like the models and hope you like this video. So um, the next video we're going to be doing is the painting guide video. We've got the painting guide and we're going to be having a look at the painting guide. And if people request it I might actually do some of the painting in it. 
but the next one's just going to be a quick look at it. So it's going to be a pretty short video, but we'll kind of look at the different colour schemes. So join us for that. And if you haven't seen the Near Fight video, that should be up. And if you haven't seen the Codex video, that should be up. And we also did a review of White Dwarf as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've done this weekend. We've been quite busy. So oh, yeah. um, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the videos. Please like and subscribe. It helps out loads. And hopefully we'll see you again soon, guys. See you soon.